This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Outlook as an email program can actually handle more than one email account. You can see from our left hand side folder structure in the mail section that we have one email account within here and that is training at mybikes.co.uk and that accounts default folders so the inbox drafts sent items deleted items etc can be minimized and you can see that that minimizes all the subfolders and leaves us looking at the training at nybytes.co.uk open screen outlook today is what it's referred to as and we can expand that back out now we can add additional accounts to add a new email account we go to file account settings then account settings that brings us to our account settings and we can see in the email tab, which is where the email accounts are held, we have our one email account. We'd like to add a new one. So we click new. The email accounts are broken into three groups, really. A normal email account is this section here, which is either based on Microsoft Exchange, POP3 or IMAP. It's a text messaging account or it's an other type of account. Well, it's a main email type of account. So this top option. Next. Now, if you'd like Outlook to search for the account settings, you can get away with putting the minimum in of your name, your email address, and the password. And Outlook will attempt to contact your ISP and make the connection and pull down the right account settings. If you already have the right account settings, possibly emailed to you by your ISP or received by looking in the control panel, then we can choose the manually configure server settings. Next. Is it internet email? So it's either POP or IMAP. Is it a Microsoft Exchange type of email address? Is it a text messaging or is it other? It's an internet email account I'm trying to set up. Next, what's your name? So this is the name that will be displayed in the from line. So this is Guy Vaccaro. What's your email address? Well, for this particular account I'm trying to set up here, it's guy at gvdb.co.uk. Remember from the bits we've seen before that all email addresses are made up the same way. They all have an at symbol and none of them have spaces. The account type is either POP3 or IMAP. Well, this is a POP3 and you'll know the account settings type because your ISP will tell you. The incoming mail server is pop.dnsmaster.net and I only know that because the ISP have told me that. And the outgoing mail server is sm tp.dnsmaster.net. I then need to enter my username, which is gvdb, and my password, which will appear as asterisks. I leave this tick in place so that Outlook can remember the password. Otherwise, every time I do a send and receive, I'll have to type the password. Where do I want to stick the data that arrives? In a new Outlook data file or an existing data file? So I could actually stick the data in the same Outlook file as this account here. But it's safer and easier to keep your accounts completely separate. So it's going to go into a new Outlook data file. There are more settings. And in the more settings, I can set up a username organization, a reply email if it's not going to come back to the same place. This is the name of the account here. So that's effectively what appears up here in Outlook. So I'm going to put GVDB. The outgoing server, this may require a tick. You may find that your outgoing mail server requires authentication. If it does, then you'll find that you're not able to send an email and you need to come into this box here and place a tick in here. And then it will use the same settings as your incoming mail server. So it's the same username and password that you just typed on the main screen. Then we have the connection. And in this case, it's going to use my LAN, my local area network. You may need to use your phone line on a modem or you may need to use a third party dialer. Most of the time we'll be going through LAN. And then we have some advanced settings, which we'll have a look at in a separate lesson. So this is the more settings dialog box. Usually the only thing you're looking for in here is to put the tick in the outgoing mail server requiring authentication. That's okay. We then can test this account by clicking test account settings. And you'll see that it's managed to log on to the mail server and it's managed to send a test email message. So we know the account is set up. When you click next down the bottom, we're just told, congratulations, you've set an account up and we can click finish.
Now we have two email accounts in Outlook. And when we click close, we can see the second email account here. So we have an inbox for training at nybytes.co.uk and another one for guy at gvdb.co.uk. However, I've changed the account name here so it doesn't display the email address, it just displays gvdb. But if we have a look, and then we have the inbox. So that's two mail accounts on the same Outlook. Now there is no restriction on the number of mail accounts you can add to Outlook. It's the same mechanical process. File, account settings, account settings, new. And then you need to decide the type of mail account and fill in the requisite areas.